All right, guys, welcome back. I'm gonna give you this is kind of the part two to the last video here of the taking the harness out. Um, what I had to do um, with this side, which is the uh, the AC um, trigger wire. Um, what I did was, uh, well, as you can tell, yeah, I just clipped it. It's a single wire trigger wire on here that'll go off to the main harness. It is so difficult. You can't. I would. You have to take off the um, the power steering pump and um, possibly move the AC compressor out of the way a little bit just to get this plug out of here. So it is uh, extremely uh, time consuming to do that. Uh, and I'd just rather you know splice this and uh you know solder it put some new shrink wrap over it and be done so i went ahead and just uh plugged it back in and i just cut this wire right here give me a little extra so the other new harness i can cut whatever i need so i just did that so no nobody don't 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 complain about it it's this is what it is i think this is the easiest route to go uh with what i'm doing here because there's nothing wrong with that plug anyway so i'm gonna go ahead and just snip snip that one and i'm done but yeah come over to this side this is this is the fun this is the fun side guys um this is the harness that goes to the uh, alternator and you have a wire going to the starter which would be this uh pink or actually purple purple with a white pinstripe and that goes to uh, all the way underneath to the starter solenoid, I believe it was on. It's a 10 millimeter uh, little nut on there. Um, just take that off and it is routed up up around it. That one wasn't too bad to get out. Um, but getting this fed out is the real challenge. Um, what I had to take off both bolts to the upper and lower parts of the alternator to hold it up in there. So I had to take those out just to get this plug out of here. Um, and then there's a little like loop-de-loop -loop type of thing that it does underneath there. The the lines that hold, well, don't hold. Well, they do actually. Uh, they hold the uh, the transmission uh, hard lines and that they're down there. Um, there's a like a double bracket thing that holds them up against there, which is right up against the uh, alternator, which we can go down here and not show you guys real quick. <laughs> I got my safety, safety stuff here too. Let's see here, where are we at? So if we go underneath here, oh, bear with me guys, this is weird angles. Okay, so this is the harness right here, but I just fed it kind of out. It goes back underneath here, which this is your, uh, where are they at? This, these two lines going up right here there's that little double one, and then there's a big one that goes through the bolt that goes against the alternator that goes into there. It's a really tight fit. You have to loosen that up because this wire goes up around that, back around it, and then underneath, and then goes all the way over. So it's a, it's a really weird uh, way they do it. And you had to kind of, I had to push up on the, the alternator then itself a little bit to get the rest of it out but now they're just dangling straight up to the top out of there and then um you yeah, guys the other ones which will be the other plugs hanging right there right forward this way those are just all of the o2 sensors and the uh oil level sensor i guess that is and then that's it and then all that comes out of here. Oh my goodness. Oh, okay. And then that's pretty much how this one is ran. Just gonna leave everything just like that. And then I'm gonna pull these straight up out of here. Just like so. Yeah, so you can see this little wire. It's just the one that looks to the starter. This one was a kind of a it's like really weirded up and up around in there but yeah guys that is that's that <clears throat> which i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna uh, move this 
fuel rail out of the way again. Let me sit this over here, just very gently, just like that. And I can go ahead and grab this harness, which it's gonna it's gonna go underneath. This this part goes uh, through the firewall right right here, the side. It goes to the ECU part. So these ones will actually end up going underneath this uh, the um. I can't even think of it, but it's for the heating, the uh, heater control valve. So I'm going to cover these up again right here because I have my fuel my, or my <laughs> fuel or my fuel pans, guys. Yeah, I got my fuel pans off. <laughs> I got the valve covers off because I did. Get, I went ahead and I um, sanded all those down really nice and painted them. So I painted those yellow, and they're gonna. They're actually the same color as my calipers. So those are going to go on next. It's going to look super nice when this is all done. I do have uh, two new uh, sensors coming in. Or actually three new sensors, but I'll get on that here in a second. But I'm going to go ahead and lift this out of here. So that goes over there. This is kind of a weird... Holding my phone and doing this, guys, is... It's not the easiest. I'm just gonna tuck these underneath, just like that. There we go. And there's that one. And then just come straight out of the top. Take this off and look at, look at, look at that, guys. <clears throat> and there it is. So you got the ECU part. Then you got, this one goes straight down to your, all your sensors, your uh, O2 sensors and oil. Then you got this one, which will be at the top here. So this one actually goes to the, uh, no, I'm wrong. Actually, this one goes to the IAT sensor. And then this one, obviously, because I have it hacked up, is the map sensor. Then you have this one with the heat insulator, which this one is the uh, crank position sensor. Then this one, which would be uh, either or. They're actually both like the same, just different. They're the same plug. One goes to the um, bypass throttle body and the other one goes to the actual throttle body. So this one goes to, actually I'll show you right here quick. It actually goes to this one, which is this valve down in here, which is this harness. And then you have another harness that goes to your actual throttle body. And then after that, we'll run into all of these, which we're all familiar with a lot of these, which I gotta take all these uh, adapters off for my fuel injectors. Um, they go from the original is a EV1 uh, connector, but I needed a EV, uh, EV6 or I believe it's EV14, I think. I think those are the same. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, but yeah, got to take these off and then those will go on to my new one. And then you got off the same side, which would be another four, which would be for each uh, coil pack. And then you got oh, this one I don't need anymore. This goes to the uh, magnet for your supercharger. Then you got your grounds. You got the coolant temp sensor right there. Then you got this one, which is the cam, uh, posi cam position sensor. And then a, I guess this is a ground, I want to say, or a trigger wire for the starter. And then this one goes to the good old alternator it's actually not that that big of a harness it's pretty small for what it is but yeah guys that's uh this thing is pretty much gutted completely right now this thing is down to down to basically nothing but i do have uh yes i do have a new cam position sensor coming in which will be that one right there which bolts right there so i bought a brand new one of that one and then I got both of these, which are the knock sensors. 
I'm gonna replace those. I'll probably clean this out a little bit more and then possibly throw in some more uh, heat, uh, heat shielding uh, in here after I lay the harness down. So something a little bit more I can keep the supercharger a little bit cooler. But yeah guys, that is it for right now. But you guys can see all the cams, all the valves, the good stuff. <clears throat> uh, upon investigation though guys, I did fee, fee, dude, I, guys, I can't talk today. Um, one of my uh, nuts off of one of my header pipes fell off. So you do have to get one of those too. And then come on over here. I had to get two new spark plugs. Um, which one was it? I believe it's this one. Yes, so check this out, guys. Those inside of there are so jacked up. So I can't even see if I can focus on these a little bit. It's not wanting to work. But anyway. Yeah, look at that. There were actually, uh, well, it's my fault too. These, I didn't push these on tight enough onto the spark plugs. So these were actually kind of, I guess, like shorting out. They weren't, they're like, they're, they're bad looking. So I did that and then, let's see here. I don't think I, I have the, uh, let's see here. I got everything set up the way it came off there but yeah guys um i had two spark plugs uh again I, I don't i don't know where they went i don't know what i did with them oh they're right here okay never mind guys here we go check these two spark plugs out so that's what those looked like they are jacked up so those are no good that was probably another either a slight misfire and just very poor this thing was run on like one, one stupid uh, spark plug the whole time, and this wasn't even getting a good connection. So I got to figure out a, got to clean either try to clean those out really well. But I do have um, I do have a, a spare uh, two of those, which I probably put over here as well. Yeah, oh yeah, here they are. Here's some original ones. So these ones, uh, I believe, that do still work. So these ones are nice and clean, the way they should be. Uh, I think I can make that work, because I would rather not reuse these, even if I could clean them. But I don't know how to really clean them getting down in there. But yeah, guys, that this is it for now. I've um, got my gaskets off. I'm just waiting on gaskets at this point from a FCP Euro. Um, I got all the new gaskets. Um, I did over-torque these ones. Uh, the last time I put this on, and I feel really stupid about it, but I found out, yes, they are only uh, like 17, like 17 and a half foot pounds that these are actually torqued to, and stupid me, I put them to like almost 30, <clears throat> so I'm pretty sure I crushed the, the gaskets way too much, and the top ones I think I overdid too a little bit, so I got new, new everything, I'm just going over this one more time, so we're doing this all right, this car will run um no more no more messing around i'm getting this all tucked away getting this nice cleaned up and uh i'm hoping everything just works as it's supposed to but yeah guys sorry to drag this video out so long here uh, a lot going on today here uh, i got my new yeah my bolts here which i gotta save these those go to the uh alternator but yeah, guys, this is it for right now until I get the uh, the harness, uh, get it back here, do a little bit of one splice, and yeah, run all that done, get that all set up, all hooked up, and then just wait for my gaskets to come, and there we go. But yeah, guys, uh, thanks for watching the videos. I hope this kind of a little more informative of how to take a, an actual engine harness off of the W211 E55 AMG. Uh, yeah, guys, so if this helped, you know, give me a like, uh, comments. I love them. Thank you so much for uh, all the support you guys have given me. Uh, thanks for watching the videos, and uh, I will have some more coming out real soon. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one.